Hello everyone. This class is for forestry paper and the topic for today's discussion is forest mensuration. I mean, it is like a lot of topics discussed in this and MCQs discussed in this We already have covered so many topics and MCQs regularly for this particular paper. And in this paper, uh, particular class and the subsequent classes, we'll discuss the details, elaboration of the topics. So forest mensuration, what does it mean exactly? Now, forest, forest mensuration is that branch of forestry that deals with the determination of dimensions, like, you know, diameter, height, volume, etc. So these are the dimension, diameter, height, volume, etc. Uh, form is an increment of single trees, stands or whole woods, either standing or after felling. So forest mensuration, ami ki koro? Ami exactly forest related jiman kini amad uh, calculation as like determinations of dimensions, jot neki diameters, height, volume, ebila kahi pore. Form hoigul, age hoigul. Increment of single trees, stands or whole woods, either standing or falling. So forest mensuration is the branch of forestry that deals with the different measurements related to the trees in a forest. Now, ultimate objective of forest mensuration is to provide quantitative information about the forest and its resources that will allow making reasonable decision on its destiny, use, and management. So this information, this quantitative information will be used for making reasonable decisions on the destiny, use, and management of different forestry products. Of course, we are talking about trees. Now, measuring trees. Tree is not being cut now. It is at its position. It is in the standing condition. So measuring standing trees will discuss some important parts like diameter at breast height. Diameter at breast height for convenience of measurement and to facilitate comparison, diameters of standing trees are measured at a fixed height termed as breast height. So measurement skinny karone. Measurement skinny karone. I mean at a convenient uh kobo paru at a what we can say at a fixed height term I mean use koru that is known as breast height. So what is breast breast height? For convenience of measurement and to facilitate comparison, diameters of standing trees are measured at a fixed height termed as breast height. When a breast height or like a height or like a head to height, d to height to ami diameter to calculate koro. A particular height to call breast height. It is also known as DBH. DBH, the diameter at Breast height is defined as the average stem diameter outside bark and at a height 4.5 feet, that is 4 feet 6 inches, approximately 1.3 meter above ground. So you need to remember this value that we are considering this 4.5 as the standard height, 4.5 feet. Okay, uh, some basic mathematics you have to know, we have to know to understand this particular scepter that I will cover in the next class if needed. Otherwise, if it is not needed, I can skip that part. You will let me know whether you want that particular discussion where we will discuss about some mathematical measurements or mathematical units that you need to know to understand this scepter. So kindly comment me, kindly comment me if you want to have discussion on that particular paper or not. So yat ki koisu, what I'm saying here is that diameter at breast height, we are considering stem diameter 
outside the bark and at a height of 4.5 feet. 4.5 feet means 4 feet 6 inches. That is approximately 1.3 meter above the ground. And this is known as DBH or diameter at breast height. Remember 4.5 feet, 4 feet 6 inches or 1.3 meter. Now measurement. DBH is usually measured with Tree caliper or diameter tap. Mono trakiva. Tree caliper or diameter tap is used to measure this diameter at breast height. Tree caliper held at breast height provides easy and quick measurement of DB high, DBH. So this breast height, I already told you, this is 4.5 feet. So now at at that height, we calculate the diameter and for that we are using tree caliper or diameter tape. For ordinary work, a single reading of caliper will suffice. However, since trees cross sections are not exactly circular, two caliper readings at right angle should be made and the average may be recorded as dbh. Normal measurement of karone ever lowly hoje, but you know, for tree, what happens? Tree crack cross section. Tree cross section. I am talking about this one. Okay, you can see here, tree cross section. This is not means uh, circular. It's it, it is. Can you see this? This is not circular, right? If you see my mouse pointer, you will see that this is not a circular. So what we do actually, we take two calipers reading at right angle, duta caliper reading low right angle, and after that, we take the average. Suppose D1 and D2 are two caliper readings in perpendicular direction. This is D1 and this is D2. We take this, is, this as D1, we take this as D2. Then DBH, that is diameter at breast height, would be D1 plus D2 divided by 2. Okay. Now, what is diameter tap? I told you that this tap, this particular diameter tap or tree caliper is used to measure the diameter. Now, this diameter tap actually measures what actually measures circumference or girth of a tree at breast height. However, based on the relationship between the diameter and circumference guard of a circle, the tap is so graduated that it provides for directly reading of diameter. So is the diameter tap to a key measure kore, circumference measure kore. This measure circumference at breast height. We want uh, some relation between this uh, diameter and circumference, right? Suppose this diameter is denoted by D and this circumference is denoted by C. D, that is relationship, uh, sorry, diameter, and C, Z, that is circumference, guard. Now, what will be the relation? So the relation is circum circumference, guard is equal to phi into D. That is Z is equal to phi into D. And we all know pi is 22, point, uh, 22 divided by 7, pi value, that is 3.142, 3.142. And from this, z is equal to pi d, guard is equal to pi into diameter. Diameter we can consider from here as d is equal to z by phi. So the circumference or guard at breast height can be measured with an ordinary tap, circumference, you can consider it, you can find it with an, an ordinary tap, then DBS can be calculated using this formula, right? So summarizing the facts, I told you that DBH is equal to D1 plus D2 divided by two. D1 and D2 are two caliper readings in perpendicular direction, like this is, this is D1, this is D2 and DBH. DBH is D1 plus D2 divided by 2. So this is calculated for breast height. Now we have got that 
z is equal to pi d and d is equal to z by pi. So this z can be measured. This uh, this <coughs> um, in CBH can be met, measured with an ordinary tab. And as soon as we got this z, we can easily calculate this d because z by pi is equal to d from the equation z is equal to pi d. And once we get that, we again will be able to find out d1 and d2 separately also, but not required. Now, what is the presumption here? Measurement of TVH with tap is based on the presumption that trees cross sections are circular, which is rarely this case because you cannot consider the tree cross section as circular. Sometimes it may be different, may be uh, eclipsed, <coughs> eclipsed light, uh, you know that, uh, okay. Then in that case, that's why we have considered the average. Now less accurate, why? That is why tap is less accurate because maximum times you consider the cross section as circular, which is not true. So that, way, that is why this tap is less accurate than calipers. However, the tap is preferred to calipers for bigger stems as the calipers are bulky and difficult to handle. If there is a big tree or if there is the case of bigger stem, we go for or we prefer what tap, although it is not accurate. Because at that case or in that case, you cannot uh, use the caliper as calipers are bulky in size and it will be very difficult to handle. Now trees on slopes. In case of trees growing on slopes, DBS should be measured 4.5 feet above on the ground on the uphill side of the tree. <coughs> Sorry. So trees on slopes. If some trees are there on the slopes, I mean, I slopes, man, I mean, 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 we should measure DBS as 4.5 meter above ground on the uphill side of the tree. Now DBS and GBS under bark, in many species, bark is quite thick. So in many species, bark is quite thick and constitutes a considerable portion of wall volume. In such cases, DBH or ZBH under bark should be determined to calculate the timber value, volume, right? So bark thickness may be determined with an instrument that is known as bark goes. See, MCQs will directly target this type of information. Just this before you got it, that how we are measuring the diameter, diameter, right? Then similarly, bark goes. This bark goes is used for what? Bark goes is used to measure the bark thickness. So if T represents the bark thickness, then diameter under bark, say DUB, and guard under bark, that is ZUB, can be obtained from the measured values of diameter over bark and D, that is DOB and guard of our work, GOB, with the help of the formula, that is DUB, DUB means diameter under bark, is equal to DOB, that is diameter over bark, minus 2 into 3, and T stands for bark thickness. So subtract double the bark thickness from the DOB to obtain DUB. Is it clear? I'm repeating again. DUB here is what? DUB is a diameter under bark. Sal sotar tolot g to die. As a hekini karone diameter. Diameter under bark. This is DUB. Then DUB means diameter over bark. Right? We are considering the bark portion also. Now DUB, diameter under bark, will be DUB minus 2 into 3. Similarly, GUB is equal to GOB minus 2. So subtract to 2 into pi, sorry. This should, this should be pi, although it is not visible. Subtract 2 pi times bark thickness 
from the GOB to obtain GUB. A equation to upon a look ever leaky logo. Just let me first. What is that exactly? GUB, GUB is equal to GOB minus 2 pi T. 2 pi means uh, I'm considering pi, that the symbol I'm not using, I'm directly saying pi. So GUB means cart under Bark is equal to guard over bark minus twice pi into thickness. And one more you have got that is DUB is equal to DOB minus 2D. Okay. So I hope this is clear. Let me clear this. Okay. Now the skin is clear. So three diameter classes, three diameters can be measured nearest to 0 0.1 inch however it is more convenient and customary in group measurements into diameter classes when two inch diameter or four cm four centimeter diameter classes are used group or class limits may be taken like suppose uh, we are considering two inch diameter or suppose we, we are considering four centimeter diameter why we are considering this we are considering to divide the class. Is it clear? We are, we are considering to divide the class, diameter class. Now, two inch diameter DIA class, diameter class, diameter class or mean diameter, that is eight inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, four inch, and diameter limits in inch will be seven to nine or eight inch. 10 inch, 9 to 11, 12 inch, 11 to 13, 14 inch, 11 to uh, 14 inch, 13 to 15. Okay, four centimeter diameter class, diameter class or mean diameter, what will be 20 if diameter limits 18 to 20, 22, means you need to add what? Consider the range has four, right? So, uh, for 20, 18 to 22, 24, that, is, that should be 22 plus 4, that is 26, 28, 26 to 30, 32, 32, 34. Now, does T having diameter from 7 inch to less than 9 inch may be taken as belonging to 8 inch diameter class? Now, you got it. Suppose a T we have that has the diameter seven. So in which class, in which diameter class you will consider? So if you see the limit, then it will be falling under eight inch. Similarly, trees having diameter from nine inch to less than 11 inch, it will be belonging to 10 inch. Similarly, suppose I have considered a tree with diameter 12, then it will be falling under 12 inch. Suppose if I'm considering uh, 13, then 13 inch diameter tree will be falling under 14 inch diameter class. Okay, trees having diameter from 22 centimeter to less than 26 centimeter, it will be under 24 centimeter. So the convenience of grouping actual diameters into dia classes is that all trees of a dia class may be considered as having the same diameter corresponding to the seed class for the purpose of enumeration and calculation, suppose all trees of 8 inch may be considered as a having mean diameter of 8 inch. Yes or no? So that's why means with this range, uh, within this range, we consider all the trees are falling into that particular diameter class. And it will help us during the enumeration or calculation process. I hope this is clear to you. Now tree height. So tree height, to tell height of a standing tree. Remember, I'm using the term standing tree because maximum times uh, we, we actually face two types of conditions, either standing or falling. Now that's why I'm using standing word here. To tell height of a standing tree, 
is the perpendicular distance from the tip of the leading shoot to the ground level. Leading shoot to the uh, ground level means tip of the leading shoot to the ground level. That particular perpendicular distance is known as total height. In comparison, Martian table tree height means usable portion of the tree stem. That is the section expected to be utilized in a commercial logging operations. So this tree height, you got it now from the leading shoot to the ground level, that particular distance and we are considering perpendicular distance in case of a standing tree, we consider that as a total height. But when we talk about Martian table tree height, we will consider only the usable portion of the tree stem. Okay. Then after that, why we need to go for measuring tree height? That is objects of measuring tree height because height at known interval of A's give a measure of productivity of the site. Karan, I mean, different particular, suppose two bosoriya gosses upar height iman ho bolage, tini bosoriya gosses upar height iman ho bolage. So, he heights to interval to pora, I mean, go bo, 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 then what will be the possible productivity of that site where those trees are being planted, right? If it is commercially done. Then heights of selected trees may be required for application of volume tables and yield tables, right? So the height of selected trees means some, some particular species we are considering may be required for the application of volume tables and yield tables. Then to determine the rate of increment of height. These are the three reasons why we need to measure tree height. Now, how we go for measuring height and some other technical terms related to the tree heights, we will discuss in our next class of forestry. So I hope that whatever the topics today I discuss is clear to you. Now, Zuar Agoteta, Horu MCQ, Motomalko, Kudibo Bisaru, and Hetu Jose, DUB is equal to DOB minus 3T. Is it true or false? Comment to your answer. So we'll meet in the next class. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Joya home.